Hey there, this is a short uh, introduction to Multistreamer, which is a open source web app I've been working on for pushing uh, video streams to multiple services at the same time. It supports uh, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Beam slash Mixer, and any arbitrary, you know, RTMP URL. Uh, but in the cases of the non-RTMP ones, like, you know, Twitch, YouTube, it supports doing things like updating your stream metadata and pulling in all your chat messages uh, slash comments, etc. So you can just have one page where you watch all this. I'm not going to go into how to install it or even all the features. This is just, again, meant to just be a quick little intro. Um, so the overall concept is you have streams and accounts. You can add accounts to your profile and then start creating streams. So a stream is a group of uh, accounts. And so you've got, um, once you get it set up, like here I've put two accounts onto this stream, um, you can have this little dashboard get created. And I don't believe I'm still, yeah, I'm actually not still streaming data, but there is a delay. Like I literally just hit stop a second ago. <laughs> and there's a delay between when you hit stop and like when this buffer clears out of uh, video data, it'll eventually go, you know, go away. But um, anyways, so yeah, I've got one page here where I can set up my Twitch settings and YouTube settings, you know, for this example. Uh, so on Twitch, I'll set my title to testing out multi-streamer. On YouTube, it'll make a new video called, hey, this is a simulcast. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, another feature I'll show off too is, and this is fairly new for version nine, which is, um, I'm still double checking every little bug, but I'll, I'll hopefully tag it and get it posted. Uh, but version 9 supports sending notifications to uh, Discord channels via the webhooks function. So let me go and just put in some other channel here. So that way the little, I know that the little notification sound will go. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and I'm going to pull up the chat ahead of time. So it says right now we're offline. So I can go ahead and hit, hit, hit uh, start streaming there. And it takes a second, you know, longer in OBS than you're used to because it has to, um, you know, reach out to all your services and update everything. Uh, but if we go here, we'll see this now says that we're live and that uh, Twitch, we have an unknown amount of viewers because it takes a while before Twitch starts reporting. YouTube, we have zero. And both of these are links that we can click and open up um, our videos and new tabs. And it takes a while for YouTube to kind of roll over. Whereas Twitch seems to be a little bit more immediate about it. Whoa. Ah, it's annoying. But while we're waiting on that, this Twitch ad to play, um, I can type messages here and they will pop up in multi-streamer. And I can also choose accounts and chat back. So now if I switch over here, you know, there's my message. Let's see if YouTube started. There we go. So yeah, same thing with YouTube. It'll pop up over here in multi-streamer. YouTube takes a second, there it goes. And uh, let's see here, I can switch over to my YouTube. Again, it's not as immediate as Twitch. Uh, which is kind of nice because they use, like you keep a connection open to send messages. Uh, so it all happens pretty immediately. So yeah, those are the basic features there. Um, and then I'll switch over to Discord. And this whole time we've been getting messages to this demo channel. Uh, so there's a notification when I went streaming along with, the, or when, when I went live, you know, along with my URLs. Uh, and then all my Twitch messages are coming in here. Or not my Twitch, I'm sorry. Well, Twitch and YouTube messages are getting relayed into here, right? So we have me at Twitch talking and then my YouTube accounts talking. And those are all stuff you can configure, you know, for every stream. There's a webhook setting where you can turn on and off the various things. Like maybe you only want the live and not live notifications to go to a channel. Maybe you only want comments, you know, what pretty much whatever combo you want, you can do. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and hit, um, or while I'm still streaming, there's one more feature, which is that you can connect with IRC if you want. Uh, and deal with all your chatting stuff. So let me go ahead and get connected here. Get that dragged in. So let's see, I've got an IRC client running. And uh, if I hit list, I can see my various streams represented as chat rooms. 
And so you'll see here, here's a, the channel along with um, some of what gets posted to Discord, your status, you know, your topic for the channel gets updated with uh, links to the things. So I can hop in here. I've got bots representing what accounts they're currently streaming. So I can, um, let me type a message here from Twitch. Like this is coming from Twitch. And uh, that popped here into the IRC room, right? And then I can use those bots. Like if I begin my message address to that bot, I can relay my messages, you know, so I can say, uh, this is coming from IRC. And, you know, you get kind of a double notification because there's you telling the bot, you know, you want to send a message to IRC. And then there's, you know, the message as it was sent um, on actually, you know, on Twitch, right? You're saying, hey, take everything after this bot name, send it to Twitch. And so if I pull up Twitch, there's my, this is coming from my IRC message. Um, yeah. So let me go ahead and hit uh, stop streaming. Hopefully this served as a handy intro. You'll notice the... Uh, in the YouTube room, or sorry, God, I'm, I'm tripping over my words. In the IRC room, those bots representing the accounts all left. So the YouTube bot left, the Twitch bot left. Uh, room topic changed to offline. I think I still have a slight bug. Man, Twitch, you're just hardcore about ads today. I think I have a slight bug in the, no, I think I fixed that. I do think there's a bug where the chat It'll say down here, stream out started, but I think I forgot to have this get changed to offline once you go offline, like if you have it running. But if you, you know, just close it and pull it back up, you're fine. But anyways, those are the basic features. I'm going to make some uh, more videos to go over all the other um, features and settings. So for instance, you can do things like um, uh, instead of going live immediate, immediately like I did, you can have... You can set up to where you have to come and hit this go live button instead. Um, you can pull from other sources. Um, it, you know, there's a multi-user aspect to this whole thing. But anyways, uh, I think that's probably enough time here going over like the basic how-to slash basic like, hey, look at this. Uh, so I hope this is interesting and I hope that uh, you find it useful and uh, thanks for watching.